Hello everybody and welcome to this Happy New Year video with your Australia Slow It's so weird to do that in front of a camera, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Anyway, I just want to make a video to say Happy New Year and I hope you guys are having a good time of it, or at least about to celebrate having a good time with it. Uh, when I'm recording this, it's currently 5.51 at uh, the EST time period, so you know, it's minus 5 from, from, from London and Greenwich, Greenwich. The English have weird words. Anyway, it is not currently the New Year yet. But it is super, super close, and I just wanted to say Happy New Year. Uh, and share a couple of thoughts that I've had, not that they really matter. But, long story short, hope you guys have a good time, and that we make the best of it. Now for everybody else that actually wants to hear me talk, uh, I just wanted to say that I've looked at 2015, and I've remarked that it's been a bit of a mixed bag. There's been some good stuff, and there's been some bad stuff. There's been, you know, lots of good change, and lots of things that are like, oh, come on, really, did you have to? But... Overall, it was a pretty good time, and I was sitting there over the holidays, because I'm an irresponsible adult that doesn't have anything to do over the holidays other than sit on one's tuckus and not do anything. Um, unlike maybe so many other people that actually go out there and have adult responsibilities and have actual work that they have to do, which ends up with them making money, which, or at least hopefully making money, which ends up being a good thing uh, for them. And to all those people, I wish you a very good time, and hopefully a break in the near future, because honestly, having to work during what other people call a holiday uh, probably infuriates you, and aggravates you, and I feel your pain, except for I don't, because I just had a holiday, so you can tell me to shove it where the sun don't shine. Anyway, um, I've been looking at this year, and I'm like, you know what, there's some weird stuff at the beginning, uh, between teacher's college, and a lot of work, and a lot of studying, and all that stuff. I didn't have a lot of time to work on YouTube, or anything really in general at all. And then, summer hit, and the summer... I got into funk, but then I got out of it thanks to doing more YouTube videos and actually making a habit of it and, you know, working at it. Making it a, a, a part of my routine every day. And that was, that was very healthy for me, I think, overall. And that was a good time period. And then over the fall, you know, I had a job, which was good. It paid. I did work, which was good. I was in a random country with not a lot of people that I knew, which was okay. And then my computer broke, so no games. None. Which is probably a good thing, because in one sense, I suddenly became an artistic, uh, creative machine and started drawing and painting and writing and all this other stuff. Not that any of it was any good, but I did start doing a lot more of that, which probably makes my dad and my entire family a lot happier. And then all of a sudden I get a computer and they're probably silently, internally screaming, yeah! at the fact that I am not going to be doing as much of that anymore. Anyway, point is... Lots of, a couple of ups, a couple of downs, but overall, a good time. And I think that that has a lot to do with what we make, like, you know, what we, as people, make of our situations, what we make of uh, the opportunities given to us, and so on and so forth. At every step along the way, I'm not saying that, you know, people who've had a shitty year just didn't wish hard enough that they didn't have a shitty year, or that they didn't work hard enough at it, or something like that. Although, in some cases, that's probably true. But, in a lot of cases... You look at a situation, and it largely depends on whether or not you're able to think you're able to overcome it or not. And whether or not you think, hey, you know what, there's something I can make out of this. There's something I can do to make this better. And I think that we can definitely do a lot more of that, at least on my end. I can do a lot more of that to make the next year an even better one than the last one. Because the last one was, you know, like I said, it was okay. This coming year, 2016, I should be more excited about it. And that's only if I take the time to, like, do, you know, the 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 uh, squats and 10 kilometers of running every day sort of deal. <laughs> like, if I put in the effort, I'm hoping I can just walk up to 2016 in the face and uh, have a good time with it. And hopefully you guys will be along for the ride, too. I'm hoping to continue making videos over the course of the entire rest of the year. Like I said, i got a brand new computer. It's going to last... Um, and if it doesn't, I'm going to literally walk up to the people at Dell and, and kick them in, in their nuts. Uh, or if they don't have nuts, I'll kick them right where they don't have nuts. And it'll be great. Um, <laughs> for, for me, anyway, because I'll be vindicated and, and probably feeling a lot better because of the fact that I'm exacting my revenge. But that's not the point. Uh, the main point behind this entire tangent was that I'm hoping that with this computer, I can continue to make videos and continue to make content on top of everything else that I do. And keep myself maybe a little bit, you know sane uh compared to the past couple of months where i started going Woo so yeah with that said um i hope you guys can join me on that uh particular venture i hope that we have a good time together as a group of people uh, enjoying video games and all that stuff and uh yeah 
I'll see you guys in 2016. You guys take it easy. I'll see you guys in the next video.